on earth is not screaming. Recording started. All right, here we go. I've got sound. That's a good start. I've just done a, a live stream on locals and I had no sound for the first two minutes. So at least I know I've got sound with this one. Welcome to Free Association. Just a, a quick update on what's probably going to be happening with tomorrow's radio show. Um, I've, I've prepared enough that I can do half an hour and I'll find some video to fill the, the remaining 25 minutes of the hour slot probably. So I'm going to talk about um, vi radionics and vibrational medicine is the first topic. And I want to talk about the drama triangle as well a little bit. Drama triangle comes from transactional anal analysis. But it, you can apply it to a personal level, to a group level, to a social level, and to conflicts between countries, situations between countries as well. So it applies on a, on a global scale as well as on a personal scale. It's a good model. Uh, which I'm going to do my best to to fit into Russia, Ukraine, and NATO as victim, perpetrator, and rescuer. That seems the most logical way to do that in that particular situation. All right, so the, the vibrational medicine piece, it's the 25th anniversary this weekend coming up of my first Reiki initiation. Uh, which took place at the beginning of April in 1998, all those years ago, in North London, in Stoke Newington, uh, at a complimentary health centre on Stoke Newington Church Street. And I had a choice of two at the time. So what happened basically was uh, I did a an after Sunday afternoon healing workshop at a, a company at one of the complimentary health centers, literally the nearest one to my house. I've been doing many weekly meditation groups with them and a little bit of qigong. And they had this healing workshop, natural, natural healing. So not Reiki, not spiritual healing, not the spiritualist association, just a natural healing workshop which is about energy sensitivity. It's about tuning into other people's energy and the the ways that you can do that. Really, the, the standout event on that particular workshop was out. I ran my hand down, down somebody's back and it stopped at a particular place on her back and, and that's the place where she had her back pain. So that told me something straight away that I am sensitive enough to people's energies to be able to pick up pain pain levels and issues like that on a physical level but at a energetic level for the sensitivity so that set me away thinking about about healing and about what else i could do at that particular center and there was a guy called neil townsend used to come in about once every three or four months and do Reiki initiations. And I'd seen the posters for about the, about a year prior and I hadn't signed up for anything. But when I did this workshop, it, was, it, it piqued my interest. So I signed up for what turned out to be, I didn't know that it was Reiki Seiki in the Teramai system. I thought it was just Reiki. But... It turns out what I was attuned to was the Teramai system of natural healing, which includes Reiki and Seikim, and also includes a thing called the Violet Flame, which I still use to this day. So I use the Reiki, I use the Seikim, and I use the Violet Flame, all of which are part of that system. And uh, at some point, I'll start doing Reiki initiations myself. But after, after 25 years, I think it's probably time to start doing that. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but maybe I'll just do twice a year or something like that. I'll do April and October, the same way that it, it was done for me, really. 
I probably charged the same price as as Neil charged me, which I think was 150 pounds at the time. It was either 100 or 150, which I thought was fair enough at the time. I had I was working and I had money at the time. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily pay that now because I'm not working and I don't have money in the bank to, to be able to pay that much money, but there are ways to get around it. You can pay monthly over a year or whatever, pay £15 a month over a year, and that kind of solves the problem because I can't afford to pay £15 a month, but I can't afford to pay £150 in one, one lump sum. So there's ways around it. I'm going to have to start thinking about doing Reiki initiations again because I do need a, a source of income. And it's something that I can do online. So if anybody's interested out there, leave me a comment and we'll set something up via via Zoom or via Skype. And uh, we'll, we'll do something at that kind of price point, £150 or £15 a month, which I think will work out at about 17 or 18 dollars a month something like that over 10 months so it's the same amount just paid monthly and the way to do that would probably be to sign up as a supporter at my locals community which i'll put a link in the description but it's free association radio show dot locals dot com and i've just started doing weekly live streams there it's been set up for a while so there's five people in there at the moment i would welcome more more supporters you can join for free but if you want to support there's a there's a level at five dollars a month and there's a level at fifteen dollars a month so if you are interested in having that uh, reiki initiation uh, i can set it up as a one-on-one -on -one or i can do it as as a, as part of the live stream and if I do it as part of the live stream, the live stream will, will become subscribers only. But uh, I, I'm urging people to to move in, in the direction of locals, free association, radioshow.locals.com. It's a place where I'm going to start doing everything that I do. So I'll still do the podcast. I'll still do live stream, well, live streams on TalkShoe that then become videos for BitChute. But everything else I do, I'll do at locals, and that way there's at least the opportunity to support me financially, which I do need at the moment. I can't do it all for free. It's uh, If I could do it all for free, I would. But at the moment, I don't have anything to back me up, so I, I do need to charge people a subscription. Anyway, that's kind of it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again maybe tomorrow, maybe Sunday to see how I feel.